Welcome in, everybody. Um, okay, he's evidently... Oh, he might be in managing his team. Because he messaged and said... Yeah, he's playing Blood Bowl. He's just in managing his team. So as soon as he gets done with that, we'll, uh, we'll send over this in invite and get going. So his Wood Elf team, 1180 Wood Elf team, uh, and my Kimry. He's got an 11-man Wood Elf roster with a tree. Only two rerolls, but he does have a leader thrower, so he'll get his third reroll there as long as the leader's on the pitch. Four linemen, three rookies, one dodge. The leader thrower that I just mentioned. Three rookie catchers, a rookie tree, and then two Wood Elves, one with tackle, one with strip ball. Uh, tackle won't matter against me. I have no dodge. Strip ball won't matter against my throw rods because they're sure hands. And then nothing else, just the two rerolls. So pretty basic bear, Wood Elf team. No APO as well, so all injuries will stick. And then for my team, 12-man <coughs> roster with three rerolls myself. I also have a coach, but no cheerleader, no fan factor. Two Mighty Blow Tomb Guardians, a Guard Tomb Guardian, a Block Tomb Guardian, two Rookie Throws, four Rookie Skellies, and then my two Blitzers, one's Mighty Blow, one is Mighty Blow Tackle. Tackle will be a big piece for me. i got to try to protect him as much as I can and uh, let him do some work on those dodge pieces, hopefully, on some Blitzes and stuff. So... Nothing about this Wood Elf team scares me, unless he just does goofy Wood Elf stuff. And... Man. Alright, here we go. No sense in looking at this, we already know what we got. We already know what he has. Let's hope the elves are not being elfy today. Let's hope that I can get a few removals before turn 13. <laughs> Be like the match last night against the high elves when I couldn't get anything until 13 and then ended up with a whole bunch of them. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> we like winning that and getting to uh, potentially do damage first. I rolled an 8. He rolled a 9, so he gets fame plus 1. That sucks. I was hoping with the 8 that that would be a good enough roll to get that fame, but not quite there. But we do get the chance to do uh, damage first, which is nice. <laughs> Now, I gotta remember, Wood Elf trees are only strength six. The last time I played Wood Elves, I was thinking that the tree was strength seven like the halfling trees. <laughs> Shame I can't get to that leader right off the bat, man. That sucks. All right, but we'll get three dice on these two here. And then we'll get hit on the tree. Go put the throw rods back.
Oh, and he gets the extra reroll there. That really sucks. Oh, man. That would have been nice if that would have ran on the other side of the... Uh... Damn. That really sucks, man. That was a shit place for that. That was really a shit place for that. That screws up what I wanted to do on the line of scrimmage here, and, or with uh, my pieces over here. Well... We all know how I am with three die hits with Tomb Guardians. Shoo! First one starts out pretty good. That's nice. Yep, and there's an injury right off the bat. That's good. That's what we need. That is what we need. And of course, there's my infamous three die blocks. There's my infamous three die blocks. Three, four, five, six, yeah. So we want him there. Him here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, put him over to here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. Nothing there. Well, besides that first hit, this turn went as about as bad as I could have hoped. At least I did get a removal on the first hit. That's good. We are okay with that. Let's do this play first before we do any other roll now. Really? Jesus, man. At least the ball bounced good. I probably shouldn't have done the go for it. I probably should have just stayed there. Actually, that was really stupid. I should have just stayed there. But of course I rolled double ones. At least the ball did not bounce bad, and at least I uh, stayed pat. So that's good. Hey, yay, yay. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Satterfield going to be really fun. <laughs> that could have easily been good game. If it bounces back here, he picks it up and just stays back here. If it bounces up here, he could have dodged and leaped through and got it. As it is, now he has to either mark this guy and have two assists here just to get the Tomb Guardian out. Or he's got to dodge and leap through to behind to get the hit here. Maybe try to push the ball out back here where he can get to the ball. But that's a lot of movement and rolls to get to that point. So No, this, this is at least potentially doable here. The good thing is I got this skeleton in the right spot to make him have to do more rolls, either dodging or go for it to get around here. I don't think he... I think maybe his best bet is to get a hit here and hope you break him and then get some guys around in here or maybe come in and leap in with a war dancer. Instead he decides to do that, which is probably, the, probably a good move because now he can maybe come around here and mark up. <clears throat> yeah, he's just going to try to block off here and slow me down. Yeah, this is absolutely what I would expect right here. Protect his, uh, his key players, keep things back. That's fine. This is perfectly okay. Gives me a chance to recover and get that ball. Oh, that's nice. And he didn't use a reroll, even better.
Now let's hope that tree doesn't stand up. Or takes root at least. Alright, let's try this three die again. There we go. Six die on that elf to get the yellow. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, just stunned. <coughs> Removal would have been nice. But we'll take just a stun. Should have already stood him up. I messed that up. Ah, oh, should have went there too. Damn, I'm just not thinking of my positioning through here at all. Dodger gone. Two turns, two gone. We like that. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's hope we can pick a ball up. Whew. If I would not have picked that ball up, that could have been really devastating. That could have been really devastating if I don't pick that up. So that's a nice recovery after the way it started. Very nice recovery. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. He had a chance to get to potentially get to my tackle there. I think I would have taken that chance. Because that's the only one real piece that can just absolutely destroy your team with almost every hit, right? <coughs> He's already taken one of your dodge out for the game. <coughs> now, next turn... I should be able to start marking everybody up because I can get my positioning the way I want it since I've recovered and got the ball. <coughs> oh, that's a nice dodge. Oh, he's got dodge skill. Damn it. Oh, is that a catcher? That is. So we'll get a blitz on that catcher. Well, assuming the tree doesn't stand and get to do what it's going to do. Definitely get a hit on that catcher. <clears throat> we'll just leave the tree standing right there. Five, six, so he'll come into there.
two, three, four, five. He'll come up to there for six. <coughs> And a third one. Wow, this is going way better than I could have hoped. Way better than I could have hoped on the removals. And that's one of the catchers, too. So two Dodgers are gone. Only three Dodgers left, I believe. No, four Dodgers left. Two more catchers and the two war dancers. So he's playing perfectly into my hands with the way this is going because I'm just picking him off one at a time. I'm okay with slowly moving up the field to have the opportunity to just pick him off one at a time like this. Oh, and then he fails to dodge. So there goes the reroll on that one. That's all right. That's a catcher in front that I can hit now. And the tree takes root, so we don't have to worry about the tree. We just stay away from him now. Let him stay in the center of the pitch right there for the rest of the drive. That's fine. I don't think I'd have been moving them at all. Just leave them laying there. Now you take a chance of them hurting themselves like that and KOing themselves. Wow. I would have just left him on the ground. Don't even stand him up. Shit, I didn't want to do that one first. Damn it. That was the fucking catcher. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is fucking crazy, man. That is absolutely bananas. Oh, shit. So let's move him back here. I forgot I had this skeleton over here to move. Yep, absolutely, Ivy. Had a scheduled match with a guy in Australia. Straight up for the uh, uphill. Oh, one die. He does have both down. Oh, and he catches it. But now what's he do? Try to do a bunch of dodges through here, I guess? I should have brought the skelly back here. Didn't even think about him just doing what he just did. Come on, fail it. There we go. Ooh, Fanny broke himself. Need a good bounce here. Not a very good bounce. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Well, thankfully, we have some uh, Tomb Guardians here that can do something with that. Oh, I should have hit the war dancer. I had the both down, or the pal. Damn it. Jesus, another takeoff. 
Nah, that's no problem. I can get the hit on him easy enough. Get the hit on him easy enough. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Man, we're just breaking on every single hit. The problem is this is going to open him up, open up the uh, middle here for him to get in. That's the only problem. Let's hope we get a yellow here. We do. We're good. Would have been awesome if my Tomb Guardian would have caught that. That would have been fucking funny. Alright, so. Let's at least make him have to dodge here. That'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, we've got him down to what, four, six, five players on the pitch? Alright, gotta make another pickup here. Of course, we fail it. Bounce good. Oh, well, that'll work. <coughs> that will work. Got him down to one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yep, and the tree blitz here. Need him to fail a stand up. Oh, he makes it. And he makes it to take root at that. And he gets the yellow, of course. He's got a thrower that can come get the ball. Thankfully, he's only got two players he can move this turn. There goes the reroll there, because I think he's going to probably try and punt it. Yep. Probably just punts it from there, though, and doesn't do the go for it. Yep. That's what I would expect. All right, so we got to run backwards, which means we have to free this throw rod up. So let's first of all do this. Then we'll come back here with this. Get this guy. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So this guy will come around here. The guard will come in here. <clears throat> this mighty blow around to here. No. Actually, we're not going to do that yet. That's one die. No, that's two die. Okay, yeah, because I got the assist there. Right, so let's do that hit first. Have to reroll it. There we go. We got the yellow. That's what we needed. Three die on this war dancer. All three pushes. Oh, fuck, I forgot to put my other damn. What's her? A... 
Fuck, I'm out of roll. It turns to score, though. Holy shit. It's turn six already? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I did not realize it was turn six already. Shit. One, two, three, four, five. Um. Fuck, that means I gotta try to score with him. Or with him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hand off. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only got one reroll left now. Eesh. Well, we just gotta stop here and hope we can make a catch and some real forts. What's up, Rick? Into a chair stream. <laughs> Would have scored easily if that tree wouldn't have stood up last time. That sucked. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. P pretty solid chance that that could happen. But he does still have both war dancers and a catcher, so. And he's got rolls at KOs here, a couple of them. Could still potentially score with either of these two, too. <clears throat> He's just going to have to get surfed. Not a whole lot I can really do about that. Hand off here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'd probably want to get it in her hands if I can. <coughs> See if we can get one of these war dancers gone. There we go. Come on, baby. This is the big one right here. Come on, baby. Ugh, oh, just the break. There. Just a stun. I, mean, I can't be mad about that, but it would have been really nice if I'd have got a little bit more than a stun there. Alright, so this is the big, big test right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six either way I go. I don't want to be next to the tree. Yeah, I don't want to be next to the tree. <sighs> well, we need a four plus with a reroll. 75% chance. Ah! Come on, baby. Four plus. Four plus or I don't score. Oh, there we go. Whew. Now I don't have the reroll for the go for it, though. Oh shit, I was going to put it in the throw rod's hands. Damn it, I screwed that up. Because of the strip ball. Alright, so what he does is... Could try to do the dodges there to get over there. Could try to do something with her. Or him. But he could... He probably dodges and comes over here with the uphill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If he got the catcher all the way over here, he could get the one die with the strip ball and stuff, which would make me have to pick the ball up again. 
I really want to do the go for it here. One, two, three, four. And then he leaped in there. Actually, he could go one, two, three. Yeah, it wouldn't matter because he's in the wrong spot there. I think I just stay where I'm at. So this way, if he does get the ball out, at least this throw is still standing with a chance to score. Because if I go for it and I fail, then I don't have anybody. Well, I had to have him in range to score. Yeah. I would have still had that skelly. Hey, what's up? He's flaming. How you doing? He's just going to go straight up for the surf here and hope to get a player off. And hope that I fail a uh, couple of go-forts. Oh, actually, I got to do a handoff and a couple of go-forts. I thought that skeleton was in range. <clears throat> thought that skeleton was in range. So now I got to make another handoff. But, as Rick alluded to earlier, even if I fail the handoff here, still a decent chance that... Uh, with him being sh short so many players that I can keep him from scoring. <clears throat> it's a shame he's getting away. I really wanted to get a hit. I was going to surf, or er, surf, going to blitz him to try him and get him out for the next half. He might have done it for me. Nah, he'll re roll that. No reason not to say it, not to. You got two re-rolls and two turns. <clears throat> I was really wanting to get the hit on him. I guess I still could. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah. If I can get him out for the next half, that takes one of his re-rolls away. So that's where we're going to go. Going to go after him. Plus, he's the one that can score here. Yeah, absolutely going after him. That way, if I fail something, he can't score. Should have done that a little differently. Because I got a hand off with him. Yeah, I screwed that up. <clears throat> nice. Come on, break him. Oh, dead. Nice. Leader's gone. So that's one less reroll. Now he's down to two rerolls. For the next half, and he can't score no matter what. Um, well, we need a four plus here. Yeah, I screwed up and handed it off to the wrong player last turn. Totally screwed that up. Yes, Dusty, early stream. Uh, it's been more than ten blocks, guy. <laughs> Nice. Oh, he'll re-roll it. Oh, wow. Why not re-roll that and take the chance to get my tackle piece out, right? That's because it's 6 a.m. A in the morning. Oh, now he's got to re-roll that. Oh, he didn't have to. That was his. I didn't realize he blitzed with his war dancer. But it saves my tackle piece. Yeah, Ivy, that's because it's 6 a.m. in the morning. My brain's not fully functioning yet. The good thing is about not scoring, he only gets one roll with these guys, and he gets them both anyway. Damn it, that stinks. He is elves. So he could pull goofiness off here. Unfortunately, the tree's still there, which means I can't line up heavy like I want. It does mean, however, that I can line up this way.
can line up this way. He can't line all his elves up here to get the hits. He's got to have his, either his tree in here and nobody else and let the tree handle these three guys. Or he does this, right? He lands a guy up here, he lines a guy up here, he blitzes here, and then he can run through. Yeah, the less KO rolls didn't matter, Satterfield. That strategy didn't work. <laughs> Yes, says Hunter. We knew we had a uh, match this morning at 6. Good news is he only has two rerolls. And if he does score, he's scoring super quick, which means I have a chance. Oh, he gets a third reroll. God damn it. Stupid kickoff event. If he does score, he has a score super quick, which means I have the rest of the turn to score and get to 1-1 one, one to take it to overtime. Ooh, a take root here would be huge. Nope. Damn. <clears throat> No takedown, but he can push him out of the way. <clears throat> and lucky for me, I had my tackle piece lined up the right spot where he couldn't get to him. See, I think I would have I would have blitzed here. One, two to hit, pushed him here, and then taken the chance on the go for it to get in here and mark my tackle up with the tree. That forces me to use guys to get the assist on the tree to get him out of the way so my tackle piece could be free. <clears throat> I think he could have done that move with his tree just a little bit better. <clears throat> a random one right here would be nice. Force him to use a reroll. Oh, there we go. Ask and ye shall receive. At least forces him to use that free reroll he just got, which is what we needed. Now another random one right here just absolutely bones him. That would hose him so badly. Yep. Wasn't lucky enough to get that. Almost, but not quite. At least at this point right now, we can get to him, depending on what he does here. Yeah, I think with him, I'd be willing to just mark him up and say, you're just going to have to take the hit here, buddy, and hope he survives. Because right now, I can get to you with him if I make some go for it. So, yeah. That's the play right there for sure. That was the play for sure. All right, so... him back here. I just don't think I can get anybody over to him. So he's gonna score. <clears throat> Nothing to do about that. So I think we maximize hits here and try to remove elves. First one. Yep. It's another roll he's got to make. That's another roll he has to make at least. Breaking the tree would be nice. Got to reroll. 
reroll that. Unfortunately, that sucks because that takes away from my potential uh, go for it that I wanted to do. But if I get the removal, that would have been nice. No, no such luck. Now we got to do some go for it with no reroll, unfortunately. But he's scoring no matter what, unless he double fails. If I make my rolls and he double fails, there's no way he's stalling here, so. <clears throat> Oh, I made them all. Nice. I did not expect to make all those. So his best bet is he just leaps here and scores. Actually, I should have moved here instead of there. That would have made the... He couldn't leap there without dodging. I totally moved him. Yep, absolutely moved him. Oh, he goes with the dodge instead. Interesting. I think I'd have done the leap. At least with the dodge, he had three rolls. But you had to make two rolls instead of one. <laughs> All right, so now we need him to fail his KO to start. Ah, his KO rows have been good for him. <clears throat> but we're in good shape here because he's got to put guys on the line. Yep, absolutely. And give me one of these guys to blitz. Be the war dancer most likely. <clears throat> Lining up heavy here, so we gotta hope he does not get a blitz. If he gets a blitz, this could go a little rough. <coughs> nice. <coughs> At least he didn't get the extra reroll there. And that played into exactly how we wanted to go here, so let's do this hit since I have block. Good. <coughs> Freeze up the skeletons. Do our three die here. Good. <coughs> that is my tackle piece, yep. See if we can get a war dancer out of this game. We're gonna reroll that. Ah, damn it. Needed to get those hits. Let's see, that was one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Stay here. We'll come back over to here. cover this ball up. I should have already done that. That was bad. It doesn't do me any good. That one would, though, so we're going to wait here. Or that uh, that piece there just likes being KO'd, doesn't he? Let's get him down here to help block off the ball. Yeah, we want him over here to help block off here. I think I've had a little more block, a few more blocks than what he's thinking. A uh, good piece there. A few more blocks than what he's thinking, I think. But it has been an unbelievable amount of removals. I'm not going to disagree with that. <coughs> nah, I want to keep my player advantage. And there's nobody worth fouling. If I'd have got the war dancer on the ground, maybe. The tree doesn't bother me, because now I just he just took root, so I just leave him there anyway. I'll do the hit and I'll run everybody else away. It doesn't matter. I just got to keep myself protected against the war dancers here and try to take the war dancers off the pitch. Because at this point, we're looking at overtime. <clears throat> That's 
good, especially if he moves the catcher away for me. Moves the catcher away, that gives me the straight up hit on the tree. We'll get a hit on a war dancer here, and then potentially foul. <coughs> Got the skelly to do that. Yeah, so he left the catcher there, which was smart. We're actually going to go ahead and keep the tree surrounded here because he'll probably stand up again next turn. Or potentially stand up again. And I'll, take, I'll get to take root away. Could foul the tree, I guess. <clears throat> Could. But I don't think that's the right play. I think we just take our hits as we can get them here. Try to pick some guys off. Hope that we can break and get these war dancers out of the game. No. Um, is it worth fouling here? Get him there. Him here. Him up. Actually, I think it might be worth fouling here. Bam. Yeah, I think it might be. Strength two, right? Yep. Did I use my reroll this turn? Or was that last turn? That was the kickoff. That was my turn. That was his turn. Uh, dodged. I did a block. Stayed. Did a block. Stayed. That was last turn. <coughs> All right, so if I go here, oh no, that's two reros. If I go there, that's one. Stand up here. He just comes in here, does the one die hit. I don't think I do the go for it at all. I think I just stay here and let him do the hit. This keeps another guy around the ball. Come on, baby, break him. Break him. Break him. Cross him. Yes. That's huge. And I didn't get caught. Wow. So there's one more dancer finally gone. Foul was definitely worth it on that. And he fails stand-up. Good. Good, 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 good. Hey. Oh, that's a good point. I never thought about looking at it that way, Veronis. Or, uh, sorry, Argotha. Never thought about looking at it that way. I could have, yeah, by seeing if the re-roll re -roll is highlighted or not. That's a good point. That is a good point. Yeah, that's exactly what I figured. Now he's going to dodge, leap, and get the one die here. <coughs> Thankfully, strip ball doesn't matter. He's got to get the both down or the yellow, so 50% chance to knock me down here if he makes the leap. Nope, oh, fails the first leap. Reroll's gone. That puts him down to one reroll. Okay. It also. Nice. Strip ball doesn't matter. 
I was going to say it also puts his uh, War Dancer marking my Tackler, but he's going to follow. Get away from him, but I can still get him right back up there. So like I said before, strip ball means shit to me when I have the ball in my throw rod's hands. <laughs> So let's mark here first. We'll get three die here. That's fine. That's exactly what we wanted. Because now we push him into <coughs> the tackle. Which is what I wanted. Now let's hope we get the yellow here. We do. And let's hope we break him. And we'll stay. He will get fouled. We'll do the hit here. That's fine. That puts us into three die up here with the mighty blow. I swear to God, dude, three die blocks for me are junk. I never get anything with my three die blocks. One, two, three, four. Five, six. That's the guy I want to foul with, though. Go right there, and I push him there. He could dodge and come through that way there. Okay, that doesn't do nothing for him. We're going to leave this guy marking the tree so the tree can't blitz me here. He's going to come in here. Oh, he already moved? Wait a minute, how did he already move? Wait, that's weird. That's fucking weird. That's a bug. Did you see that? I moved this guy, and while he was moving, I clicked on this guy, and it stopped his movement. Huh. Well, I mean, you shouldn't be happy because I'm going to blitz the piss out of you. We're still going to leave him there. I'm going to bring him here. Or I'm not going to blitz. I'm going to foul the piss out of you. One, one, two, three, four. Hit here. Yep. Oh, he's got dodge. Shit. That's right. He does have dodge. Uh, let's go ahead and move on in. get a snippet of that video and send that to to uh, cyanide that's crazy man he didn't move no no you're still on arcane in fact your very first game you got five spp you got a touchdown and a uh, casualty no i didn't move i moved the tomb guardian this Tomb Guardian was right here. I moved him here, and while he was moving, I clicked on my throw rod, and it deactivated my or yeah, deactivated my throw rod and left my th my Tomb Guardian where he could still move. His full, I believe it was four four squares. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe he could still only move three. But I didn't move this guy. I'm pretty sure I didn't. We'll have to watch the video and see. We'll have to watch the video and see, but I'm pretty sure I didn't move him. Could be wrong on that, though. 
All right, so we're just going to let his catcher be where he is. We're going to try to kill these last few elves that are out here. I haven't broke that tree yet. I would have thought I would have randomly just broke the tree by now. Alright, let's see if we can kill this. If we can get this other war dancer out, we'll be golden. Okay, yo. And I didn't get caught, which is good. Oh, I did get caught. Sorry. I didn't get caught on the armor is what I should have said. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ivy. Let's see what that shows. We're going to leave this guy marking yeah. the tree. So yeah, the tree he had not moved yet. Here. He was still, still white and able to move. So I moved him there. I clicked on that skeleton. He's that other throw out here. I clicked oh, on the bottom throw right while he was I mean, why How did, did he you already move? Yep, that's absolutely a bug. Wait, that's weird. That's Ooh. fucking weird. <laughs> that's fucking weird. Yeah, that was absolutely a bug. <clears throat> Doubt he uses his reroll. No reason to. I mean, I could go ahead and try to score now, but yeah, there's no reason to score now. We're gonna blitz there. Let's see if we can get three dice and kill him. We're gonna mark this guy up here. Get him back here. Yep. Okay, so we'll do this. We're gonna end up fouling this guy. Actually, we're probably going to foul the tree. Nah, there's no sense in fouling the tree here. Get him down here to potentially do hit. Next turn. Do I use a reroll here? I'm at three. Should have put myself down to potentially two. Going into overtime? No, it doesn't matter. I'd only use it on the uh, on the failed go for it. I wouldn't have used it on the hit. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that's a two plus. Well, I'm breaking no matter what. A cross would be great. Oh, just a stun. That's fine. Since he can't get to me next turn, we may... Well, he could do that, though. I'm going to get up there where I can actually hit him with my tackle. I would have went like this way. 
He's trying to keep himself in range where he could get over here, but... Uh-oh. This ain't good. This ain't good. Ooh. Interesting. Four, five, six. So I will get the hit there. Okay, so this guy can't get to me if I move all the way down, I don't think. He's going to have four movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he can get to the 20-yard line. I was just kidding when I said kill him. Oh, fuck me. Wow. Man. But that's the last catcher gone, so that's good. He should have let me push him, because now I can still get hit with him. Yep. Should have let me push him. So at best, he's going to have four players to start the overtime. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We're going to take a chance here, actually. There we go. He should have let me push him there too, because now I get a better, better foul. <clears throat> be nice if I could get the tree out for the half, and then he would be able to blitz on Tomb Guardian. No, oh, I needed a six, and I rolled a three. <laughs> I actually had a great foul attempt on the tree there. <laughs> Yes, it is looking good for overtime, Rick. Seven in the uh, Kaz box. So the best he's going to have is four. And he's got to put three on the line of scrimmage. Fails to dodge, of course. He don't use the reroll there. Shame he didn't. Uh... Wish I could foul here. Boy, that'd be fucking dumb, wouldn't it? <laughs> foul and get caught. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If he gets the word answer back and he wins the coin toss, then he could pull off goofiness. Absolutely. So let's hope we win the toss here. Let's hope he doesn't get his KOs. He's three for three so far. He didn't get the dancer. So he's four for five, but the one he needed the most he didn't get. He wins the coin toss. That sucks, but could have been a lot worse. So he's got to put all three on the line. He won't have anybody to go after the ball. So we're going to go mighty blow here, mighty blow here, guard here, block here. Oh. We're going to go Skelly here, so his tree can't blitz out there. Skelly here, so his tree can't blitz out there. And then we're just going to go here. Here. We've got both throws we do. Here. 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 That way he's got to make rolls no matter what he does to get across the line. Two, two solid pieces of line here. 
The tree can't blitz out this back line. So the tree, and in fact, he, he can't even blitz anyway because he's got to be on this front line, right? Yeah, the tree's got to be on the front line. So I think even better is to just do this. That way, if he tries to dodge through here, they're worse. If he tries to dodge through here, it's hard dodges. If he hits here, he could dodge that way. <laughs> I don't want to line these guys up because he could line the tree here and blitz and then move forward. Although he could still do that anyway. Couldn't he? Yeah, he could do that anyway. Mm. So I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to do this. Let him have that. So I think what he probably does There we go. Ran out of time. But that'll work. I like that last movement actually. Because now he can't just uh, open the slot up here by hitting one of these guys. Uh, a blitz right here would be beautiful. Perfect defense would be nice. I could easily uh, readjust what he has there with perfect defense. Oh, or I throw a rock that takes out one of his three pill players. Oh, Jesus. I mean, this has just been an absolute nightmare for him. And the, look at the kick. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. I mean, this has just went <laughs> about as absolutely terrible as you could fucking imagine. Ridiculously crazy.
Oh, finally broke the tree. Finally broke the tree. scoring threat yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> he rolls a one wow I mean the best you can hope for is just pass it over me and hope I don't pick it up right and you're able to run down and pick it up next turn yeah if I failed 20,000 pickups, you're absolutely right. All right, so we got to we got to get ourselves in range where he can not get around us here. He's going to try to pass it. <clears throat> We just got to make these dodges be hard across the board. Bring this guy back. He's going to punt it, <clears throat> so we're going to bring this throw rod back to be ready for the punt. that tree can't blitz and then mark up my throw rough. I think we're good there. I don't have to worry about the tree now. <clears throat> so does he just go there and punt or does he try to dodge through? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and dodge. He doesn't have a reroll so there's no reason to dodge through. Just punt it and hope. I intercepted, I bet. Nope. Oh, he fails to pass. That screws him even worse. Let's do this so he can't run around the edge here. fitting right only fitting <clears throat> wow it's bananas man makes absolutely no sense although I did say last night I did say last night that this team does not scare me at all I was going to try for the pitch career Rick as soon as I pick the ball up, I'm going to be fouling that tree. You can believe that.
Let's hope I don't have uh, Camry Butterfingers here. <laughs> I should have tried to pick the ball up first before I did all those moves just in case I failed. And the ball bounced out of bounds. There we go. Man, oh man, oh man. Of course, I rolled, yeah, I rolled the one row that Thick Skull couldn't help. probably typing something in here oh yeah plenty of times Ivy and against teams other than elves as well dead elf and KO box yeah <laughs> that's pretty bad <laughs> it's pretty bad when you see that look at that four kills it's a good thing this well this team doesn't matter anymore anyway it's done because the league's over but if this were like CCL this team's a uh, restart <coughs> if it's a regular private league this team's in dire straits it might even be a, a restart <laughs> a leader dead thrower uh, dead catcher another dead catcher a dead lineman And he took off, what, one player? No, he didn't take off any. I took one out with a foul. I still got a full 11 on the pitch. All right. Let's go on and score here. Waiting a few seconds to see if he was typing anything back. game for him really rough game very good game for me so that gets us to the final four <coughs> yeah four deaths that was that was a rough one I guess I got my bad game out of the way last night against the high elves 
where I couldn't do nothing right until turn 14 when it didn't matter. Alright, so that gets us through to the next round. And I will play either the other Kimry team or Vampires. Vampires got um, Morgenthorg. So let's go look at those two teams real quick. Do a quick uh, rundown to see what they look like. The Kimry matchup, mirror matchup, would be an interesting one. He's got a guard, a guard, two mighty Blotoon guardians, two rookie Blitzraz. One, two, three, four, five, six skellies. A 13-man roster. Wow. that's This is an interesting build here. The dirty player skelly's fine. <clears throat> he put all his skills on one piece. That throw rod goes out with my tackle piece. I get a good tackle hit on her. And she's done. He, he's done. I mean, he can still pick the ball up with the skellies and stuff, but he loses the sure hands. Three re-rows. I don't like having two rookie blitz rods with no skills on them. Don't like that at all. <clears throat> I can see putting block on the throw raw or maybe dodge. But I would have forsake since you have a 13 man roster, you don't need dirty player on a skelly. Since you have a 13 man roster, you can foul with them anyway. Who cares if you get caught? Take that dirty player off and give one of your blitz rods a skill. Take the dodge off here and give your other blitz raw a skill. Have have more evenly based skills. <laughs> I like my chances here. The only thing that would that would be a little scary is the two guard. <coughs> Cuz I only have one guard. The only thing that would be just a little bit scary there. Other than that, the rest of this team doesn't bother me at all. I, again, just like the Wood Elves, I outskill him with my skill allocation as opposed to his skill allocation. <coughs> and I got four mighty blow to his too. So this team doesn't bother me at all. Well, let's look at the vampires. Twelve man vampire roster. <coughs> Two vamps. But he will have Morg. This team's a little bit scarier. Even though he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thralls, so five thralls per vamp, which is good. He's not gonna run out of thralls. Um he's got a leader thrall, which gives him an extra reroll, so that'd give him the second reroll. He's only got two rerolls though. <clears throat> and he's got a guard thrall. He's got a pro. So both both vamps are block dodge, which is good. My tackle would come in handy against them. He's got a pro vamp to help reroll those. So that only having one reroll is not going to hurt him there. And he's got oh that's a sure hands thrall. Sorry, he's got a leader vamp, block dodge leader vamp to get the second reroll with a sure hands thrall. So he's picking the ball up with the thrall and then handing it off to these guys, or potentially passing if need be. <clears throat> Morg's doing all his damage. He'll be blitzing every turn. So I just mark Morg with skeletons every turn that I can. Let him handle him, uh, the skellies. Try to pick these vampires off when I can get the assist with my tackle. <coughs> if I can get two vampires out of the game, then he's pretty much screwed. That's his two pieces right there. The thralls are... I'm going to get the thralls off anyway. I mean, I'll get the hits on them and take them off. Yeah, so neither one of these teams really... I mean, this one scares me a little bit more than the Kimri does just because of the two blodgers that are strength four, so it's a little harder for me to get tackle hits on them. And the... and Morg, but the Thrall... I mean, that's three pieces. The Thralls I handle very easily. Only having two re-rows potentially is going to be super nice here. So... <clears throat> if he's rolling any kind of ones with these vampires, he's screwed. If I can get a few of the uh, thralls off, that's going to hurt him as well. Because it's less thralls to put around the pitch to hand, have available to eat for these guys. But I think this team scares me a little bit more than the Kimri, but not very much more. <coughs> if the dice are fair across the board, I think I beat both teams. If the dice are like they were in this one, I definitely beat both teams. And if the dice are against me, like they were in this one against the Wood Elves, I, I probably don't beat either team. See, I don't, Satterfield. I don't like the dirty player skill. You could get a much better use out of that skill, right? Because think about it this way. You put Mighty Blow on one of the Blitz Rods instead, you're getting use almost every hit with that Blitz Rod if he's marked or if he's blitzing, right? Which you're probably going to be blitzing with him because your Tomb Guardians are going to be marked. You're not going to be blitzing with your Tomb Guardians most likely. 
So you're probably blitzing with that guy almost every turn. So you're getting potential use out of Mighty Blow almost every turn of the game that he's that he's standing and getting hit. Dirty player, you're only going to get use out of that once. Not even guaranteed once, because I could take him out the first turn, right? Or you could take himself out with a failed go for it or something like that. But even if he gets the... Hold on just a second. Alright. Sorry, wife was just hollering at me. So even if... Even if he gets one foul off, if he gets caught in that one foul, he's gone for the rest of the game. You've wasted your, your 20k skill that you could have had more use out of for potentially 15, 16 turns, right? So in, in this kind of a format, in this kind of a tournament format, where you have a limited amount of skills, you have to really utilize your skills the most efficient way possible. Elsewise, you're wasting potential, right? On a regular league build, Sure, I like that. It's not a problem at all. It's it's a good good uh, skill to have there. <clears throat> but in this kind of a format, it's just a waste of a skill, in my opinion. Now, with that said, he could get ten fouls off of that guy before he gets caught and break with nine of those ten and have Dirty Player be a factor in every one of them, and he gets absolutely gets his efficiency out of that skill. Very easily could go that way. But with the Mighty Blow, you're almost guaranteed to get efficiency at least you know multiple times three four five times unless i take that piece out on the first hit which could make the mighty blow inefficient so you i mean you could argue it that way but um i don't like i just don't like that dirty player build on that if you're going to go with the 13 man roster right because you got two extra skellies to be able to just foul as you want to foul anyway <clears throat> the dirty player really isn't going to make that much of a difference it does add plus one to the roll but besides that it doesn't make that much of a difference um, I definitely definitely would have taken the 30 player off and gave one of the blitz rods something at least mighty blow probably just to have a third mighty blow um, and or or <clears throat> if you're going to go with the dirty player build so here's something to think about if you're going to go with that dirty player build you got 1250 to, to do your skills out right um no, because you only get... Yeah. You only get seven skills, so never mind. That thought's out the door. I was going to say, you could drop a skeleton and then add a block Tomb Guardian. <laughs> add block to one of your Tomb Guardians, but you'd have to drop one of these other skills, the block dodge here. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing this build potentially with the dirty player. Drop the skelly. Drop the dodge here, so the drop the skelly gives you 40k back. You drop the dodge here, that gives you your 20k back and your skill back. You put block on the, one of these mighty blow pieces, so now you got a really heavy hitting tomb guardian that's safe with block. That takes 30k out. That leaves you with 50k. 40, 50, 60, no, that leaves you with 30k. 30k. And then you could go one coach, one fan, one cheerleader. Potentially. That would be an interesting build. I, I just don't... I like the Blodge throw rob, but in this format, I don't necessarily like it because almost every team is going to have at least one tackle that can get the hits on that throw rod. And if she gets hit, the armor 7 usually handles itself. In my case, I got the Mighty Blow tackle, so I really have a good chance to take her out. And then you've wasted the dodge on this piece anyway. I don't like, in this kind of a format with a limited skill package, I don't like wasting a skill on dodge. Um, because, like I said, most teams are going to have at least one tackle. And the dodge skill is wasted if that coach, and in this league, most of these coaches are good coaches and know what they're doing. Um, so that dodge skill is going to be semi-wasted, right? So you're not, you're still going to get good use out of it if you can protect them long enough, but sooner or later they're going to get hit. So are you getting the most efficient use out of it? You're probably not going to be dodging with a throw raw. The only reason you have the dodge is to keep yourself standing, which that gets eliminated with pieces with tackle, right? So you're not getting the most efficient use out of dodge because you're not going to be dodging with her unless it's an extreme emergency. 
and you're only going to stay standing on the pitch as long as you can protect her from the tackle pieces hitting her. <clears throat> because she's got the ball, she's going to have to be potentially out there where she could get hit by by uh, your opponents at some point because she's going to have to run out for the potential uh, score. So I don't necessarily like the dodge here. I'm not saying it's a bad pick. I just don't like it myself. I think it's not the most efficient use of, of a skill. So I could definitely see dropping the dodge, dropping a skelly, and getting block on a tomb guardian. Or you could just keep the blodge on her and drop a mighty blow and give a block to a tomb guardian. Or drop a guard and give block here. Go with one guard, one block, two mighty blow like I did. <coughs> but we'll see. If we, if we have to play, I mean, he's, he's obviously played this build good because he's got to as far as he's gotten. So the build's worked for him. <clears throat> I don't know why he said that, Dusty. I wasn't going to comment on it because he was, I mean, that was a rough game and I wasn't going to rub shit in. I made one, one mess up on positioning and my line of scrimmage or my, my defensive lineup on the beginning of the second half, which allowed him to, um, to bust through and score. I messed that up just a little bit by having it where he could blitz out with the tree like he did. <clears throat> Instead of having my three skellies right next to each other on the line, I should have had them spread out so he couldn't blitz through at the tree. <clears throat> that was my one glaring mistake was that piece right there. The rest of it, I think I played pretty solid and positioned pretty solid. Yeah, and, and I agree, Satterfield. The lack of tackle here is going to hurt him. Although it doesn't hurt him against me. It does. Go, it is going to hurt him against the vamp, though, since the vamp has two blodgers, right? And, and if you do, if you drop the dirty player here or the dodge here, you don't have to necessarily take blo a mighty blow on a blitz right. You could just take a tackle piece just to have that tackle at least. Um, but yeah, I don't. Like I said, he's got as far as he's gotten with this build, so he's obviously doing something good with the build. <laughs> Yeah, the the pro will make it a little bit better for the vamp team. But, yeah, only having two rerolls. And if I get that leader vamp off, then he's only got one reroll. And that would be the guy that I go after as quickly as I can. Yeah, I agree, Satterfield. The lack of tackle here really hurts him. <clears throat> um take one more look at the vampire team here again the only thing that really scares me here is is both vamps and then morgue oh, excuse me both vamps and then morgue morgue is going to be a pain in the butt but like i said i have enough skellies hopefully i can just keep lining skeletons up on him and let him just pound on skeletons So, we'll see. <clears throat> this match plays. So, the other three matches left. Uh, we can get rid of... Um, <clears throat> can get rid of this team. He doesn't need to be in anymore. The only three matches left... <clears throat> in this round are... Yeah, so he, he finally looked at the numbers and figured out that the blocks were a lot higher than he thought, but that's still pretty bad. I had 40 total blocks, he said. Let's uh, let's look at it here. 20 armor breaks. So I had 40 total blocks, yep. 13 on the treeman. I'd have to go into the actual dice rows and add all those up. But I'll take his word for that. So that leaves 27 blocks on regular elves. And I had 20 armor breaks. Uh, oh, that was back here. Yeah, 20 armor breaks. Uh, 9 Kaz and 1 KO. Nah, we had more than 1 KO. 
6 KO. There we go. 9 Kaz and 6 KO. That seems better. And actually, 11 Kaz. Injuries and kills are added together. 5 KOs. I'm not sure what he was looking at. According to this, it says 5 KOs and 11 Kaz. But how many of those Kaz were, did he cause to himself from failed anything? Uh, I don't remember. No, no, this actually shows how many I actually inflicted. So I inflicted four K or 11 Kaz and 5 KOs. Yeah, because he was 4 for 5 on rerolls. <laughs> Yeah, that was that's pretty nasty. That is pretty nasty. Oh yeah, we don't get we don't get those, do we? Um I only had four skulls. No, that was him. <laughs> well he didn't do a whole lot of blocks. Look at that. Only one both down was in double digits. Yeesh. 13, 21, 31, 35. <clears throat> wow. There. I had 18 skulls, 15 both downs, 36 pushes, 17. That's that's exactly how they should be right there. That's pretty even split. 15, 15, 17, 18, and then third double on the pushes and because pushes are threes and fours. So that's that's absolutely that's exactly how you should see it for average dice. That is I mean, right across the board, very, very in line with how the average dice should be. What's not average is my armor breaks and removals. <clears throat> my armor breaks and removals were crazy. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree, Satterfield. No, I'm pretty sure you only had 5 KO, dude. I'm looking at the stats right now. <laughs> Let's see how many does it say he inflicted. Oh, he sustained 6, but I only caused 1. You had 6 KOs, but I only caused 5 of those. You did the 6th to yourself. <coughs> So, anyway, I got to get off here, guys. I got to get ready to go to work. Unfortunately, I do have to work today. <laughs> I know it sucks. But, <clears throat> good match. We'll have the next round match next week at some point. This week is supposed to be done by Friday. Oh, I was going to get on and tell when the next matches are, actually. That's what I was getting ready to do. calendar here we go so we got um, this match was today we got a match on tonight no Friday we got a match on Friday ever and gray play Friday at 2000 UTC so that is two o'clock central time and that is uh, this Baywatch and Champions League I believe 
yeah, that's the Baywatch Champions League. That's Friday. Uh, the this see this game here is Friday as well at 16:30 UTC. So that would be 4:30. So that'd be 10:30 in the morning, Central Time. And then the last match, Kruk and Hammock, the Lizards in the Underworld, is at. 1900 UTC on Thursday, so tomorrow at 1900, which would be 7, 1 o'clock central. So all matches should be done by Friday, <coughs> which means this will roll before the weekend, so it's possible we could have our next match on the weekend or next week at some point, so we'll just have to see how it goes. <laughs> so anyway thanks guys for getting on and watching we will be back on later tonight when i get home from work we'll get some more blood bowl in some champ slider matches most likely and uh we'll have some fun with some more blood bowl hopefully the champ slider camry will start rolling like this team just rolled and uh yes more champs tonight body armor um thank you satterfield <coughs> and thank you ivy go get some work done at work and uh and we'll be back on tonight so thanks everybody for getting on and watching it was a fun early morning two hour stream uh keep it real keep it fun stay positive guys we will see everybody tonight have a good one